Merry Christmas, everyone. It's finally here. I hope that the morning has been full of joy and happiness and that you got a couple of things that you wanted for Christmas this year. And I'm so glad that you have joined me today for, I guess, the final grand finale in our countdown to Christmas because it is finally here. It's Christmas Day, a day for joy and happiness and, uh, and a lot of fun. So today we have one final box on our table up here holding a present for us to open. A very very special present for us to open and we have another page in our book the donkey in the living room to read which will share with us a little more about the Christmas story something that happened 2,000 years ago and yet we still celebrate and uplift with wonder and happiness even today Christmas is, of course, Jesus' birthday, and so there are lots of stories and perspectives and characters that can teach us all about his birth and how it came to be and how God is working through just that little baby that was born into the world. You know, we've started with, with Mary here, and we met her donkey, and we met the cow and the sheep that are back in the stable there, and the shepherd, and the angel that seemed to have good news for everybody. We met the wise men, and the camel, and Joseph, that uh, shared even more about this wonderful story surrounding the birth of our Lord Jesus. So let's go ahead and open our last present up here and read about that present in our book, The Donkey in the Living Room. And I think you can probably guess what's in that box up there. If you look at our Christmas scene and all the stories that are present, who is missing? Who do we need to add to the scene? So let's open up our box. It is, of course, baby Jesus. Yeah, we're going to put Jesus here right in front of his mother Mary and his earthly father Joseph. He's pictured here in a manger laying on hay and a blanket. A manger is, of course, something that an animal eats out of. It's just a big bowl full of hay for a donkey or a cow or something. And Jesus was born in this stable because there was no room in any of the hotels. So there was no cradle, no bed to put Jesus in, but a bowl, a manger. That's how we picture Jesus on the morning of his birth laying on a bed of hay. Let's read a little bit of our Christmas story in the donkey in the living room. Today we read about baby Jesus, of course. Now we come to the baby so small, the one with the most important story of all. If there's just one that, will, that you make time to hear, let it be Jesus' story this Christmas, my dear. The stories are true, what everyone saw. I was born in a stable, surrounded by straw, wrapped in swaddling clothes, laid in a manger among my family and odd groups of strangers. But more importantly, the rest is true, that I came out of God's love for each one of you. I am Emmanuel, God with you from birth, the awaited Messiah who shepherds the earth. 
John 10 says, I came so you'd have a full life. John 16, I promised I'd overcome strife. I stood against wrong and set people free, preached good for the poor and helped blind people to see. One thing to take from this story above is that mine is a story of absolute love, of hope and of truth, of life and of light. It's a story for all year, not just Christmas night. In all the hoopla, buying and selling, remember that this is the story worth telling. Oh, that's true. This is the wonderful story of how Jesus came to join us in the world, to be Emmanuel, God with us. I would encourage you sometime today to get out your Bible at home and to read John chapter 16. John is kind of in the middle of the New Testament, but you can find the book of John there and go to chapter 16. Now I think that we've learned a lot about the Christmas story. Each and every one of these characters has had something important to tell us about just what God is up to with Jesus, the Messiah, the Emmanuel, our Savior. Now let's have a Christmas prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the miracle of Christmas, for you coming to live with us in the form of this little tiny vulnerable baby, a baby that would grow up to be our Savior, the one that made it way for us to be in heaven together with you one day. God, we thank you for this story and all the many voices that come together to tell it. God, help us to have a, a hope-filled, truth-filled, love-filled Christmas day that we might be able to celebrate your story of absolute love in this world most of all through the people that are around us today. Thank you, God, for Christmas. And may we feel your blessing and closeness today. In Christ's name, amen. Well, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. I look forward to seeing you again. But for today, enjoy your family. Enjoy the story of Christmas. Thank you.